So we have balanced Natalie's skin tone utilizing light neutral mineral foundation. So as you can see, all under eye circles are taken care of, the skin looks nice and even, and also I want you to notice that this foundation does not create a super matte finish. This is almost a dewier finish, so that's not what it feels like. It looks a little bit more dewy and it actually stays that way. I find that this look is far more youthful than a very matte finish. It creates a nice even uh, complexion without looking makeup-y, which is a um, question that I get a lot of the time for of people who don't usually wear foundation. This will create a nice even skin tone without feeling or looking like you have a lot of makeup on. So. It's a great finish. So in the um, essence of balancing Natalie's skin tone, now we're going to balance her brows. And Natalie has beautifully shaped eyebrows. All I would like to do is just fill them in a little bit with brow powder. Brow powder definitely stays longer than brow pencil. And it also creates a more natural finish. So on Natalie, I'm actually using a shade that is a little bit lighter than her actual brows. We're using Ash Blonde. And um, this is creating a very soft eyebrow. For nighttime, I may want to use something a little bit darker, like maybe warm brown. But for daytime, this works great. If you are blonde and you don't have much in the way of eyebrows, if they're a little bit light, which I do run into a lot with blondes, ash blonde is a wonderful color. If you're a redhead, strawberry blonde is great if you're a little bit lighter. If you're darker, warm brown works great too. So I'm using the angled brush, slanted brush, to create a brow, and I'm just really following the shape of Natalie's brows as they are already, just filling them in just ever so slightly. It just creates a more polished look. So next, um, using my angled sculptor brush, I've chosen a couple of really great warm tones for Natalie, and I've chosen Cappuccino, Sparkle, and Angel will be my highlight. Cappuccino is a medium toned warm brown. It has just a little bit of a reflective to it, so it's not too much. And the one thing you really want to do when you're first learning how to work with mineral shadows is make sure that you don't have too much on your brush. A little bit goes a long way. They're super concentrated. And I find if you use too much, you may end up with a little bit of spillage underneath the eye. If you do, it's not a big deal. Take a little bit of cotton um, with a little bit of eye cream. That works really great as an eye makeup remover. And you can remove any excess and you can put a little bit more foundation on and you're all set. So, but um, important to note that a little goes a long way. Very, very concentrated colors. So for Natalie, if you can close please, we're going to apply just a little bit on the more the outside corner of her lid. This is the darker tone. This is cappuccino. And up into her crease just a little. And I'm more stippling the color in, which means I'm just kind of laying the color straight on her lid and blending ever so slightly. Another trick you want a little bit more color, a little bit more intense, is you can actually use any of the shadows wet and it makes a little bit more of an intense color. And you can then, um, you can also use it as a liner. All the shadows work beautifully. The darker shades as liner as well. So same on both eyes. Working up just a little bit into the crease. Okay. And then for her lid, I'm using Sparkle, which is a pale, warm peach with a little bit of sparkle, of course. 
Chocolate. And this, this color is going straight into her, almost into the corner of her eye, and blending up. So even though this does have a little bit of shimmer to it, depending on your preference, I think it's great for daytime. It adds a little bit of um, attention to the eye area without being overwhelming. Glitter is probably not good for daytime, but this is great. So I've based my color, color my color selection on Natalie's skin tone, her eye color. Natalie has um, greenish brown eyes, a lot of warmth to her eyes, almost like amber. And the warm tones and the shadows that we've chosen harmonize very nicely with her skin tone and her hair color and her eye color and really brings out her eyes without creating too much um, color on the eyes. She also looks great in some of our cooler tones, um, but for daytime, I think it's great to stick with the warmer tones for today's look. So, um, then, just the slightest bit of Angel, which is a very sheer, almost white, with a little bit of reflective, works really great as a little bit of a highlight. And highlight should go right at the brow bone and a little bit on the inner corner of the eye. And we'll blend that out just a little bit. This is just an optional little step. I mean, really, for daytime, Natalie could just wear sparkle and be done with it. She could just put it on and run right out the door. She'd be all set. But a three color just adds a little bit more depth to her eye area. But it's all in preference. Okay. And then we're going to add just a little bit underneath her eye. Instead of using a pencil liner in this case, because we want to keep it very soft for daytime, going to use just a little bit of cappuccino, which is the dark color that we use on our outside corner, underneath Natalie's eye, just a little bit to um, really open her eye area up. So look up for me, Natalie. The angled brush works best for this. And just a teeny tiny bit. And I can see where just a little bit of shadow has fallen underneath. So I just take my concealer brush and gently wipe that away. And we're all set. Okay. 